The magic ingredient, cantorterostatin, is a protein found solely in copperheads. Lab studies show the compound works as an elixir to inhibit the growth of several types of cancer cells. Great news, right? Absolutely. All we have to do now is figure out how effective the compound really is on humans. So far it's just been tested in cell cultures and lab animals. How does it work? Contortrostatin plays an important role when it comes to snakes and their food. Its purpose is to keep the blood of a snake's prey from clotting so the other compounds of the venom, the poisons, can spread quickly and immobilize the animal. Not pleasant to read, but stay with me. In the world of medicine, the protein has a much more appealing purpose. When used as an anti-cancer agent, it freezes the spread of cancer. And, it's believed to work for several types of cancer. Contortrostatin impresses researchers because it takes on not just one but two jobs when used against cancer cells. It prevents cancer cells from forming new blood vessels and it stops bad cells from infecting healthy cells. Halting the formation of new blood vessels is important because blood vessels function as the life source of a cancer tumor. When cancer cells want to spread, they make new blood vessels. Stopping this process, called angiogenesis, is the key aim of certain conventional and alternative cancer treatments. If left unchecked, cancer's newly formed blood vessels pump nutrient-rich blood into the tumors, helping them grow and flourish. Angiogenesis results from the interaction of certain proteins, called integrins, found on the surface of cells. Contortrostatin intervenes by targeting these integrins. The snake venom protein is basically a disintegrin, think of the word disintegrate and you'll get the picture. The disintegrin stops integrins in their tracks. This particular snake venom chemical doesn't attack the cell or blood vessel. Instead, it binds to the integrin and confuses an abnormal cell's communications. Dr. Francis Markland, a biochemist at University of Southern California and lead researcher for contortrostatin studies, describes the process like this, integrins can carry signals from outside a cell to the cell's interior, but contortrostatin can substitute for that and alter the signal. It's sort of like contortrostatin turns all cell communication into static. Mature blood vessels, ones that feed healthy cells, do not have the same type of integrin, so good cells are left unharmed when contortrostatin comes on the scene. This communication interference also allows contortrostatin to stop the spread of cancer to healthy cells. Metastasis, the term for the spread of a malignant tumor, also involves the use of integrins. Usually, cancer cells can move through blood vessel walls and spread to other parts of the body. Then they latch onto normal cells and invade. But, the venom extract disrupts the cell's ability to do this. Basically, Contortrostatin freezes cancer cells and keeps them from doing much of anything. They don't die, but at least they don't spread. This is important, because it's the spread of cancer that puts so many lives in danger. Cancer poses much less danger when it's confined to the same place where it is started. The chemical caused a 60% reduction in prostate cancer.